Hello everyone and welcome back to APM Help Academy. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to set up a new vendor in your Appfolio database. Much like the new tenants and the new owners task, there's a couple options to start this process. You either one from your dashboard can select the task on the right hand side that says new vendor, or you can go to the people section on the left hand side and then select vendors and then click new vendor. When you select new vendor, you can just like the owners, either select to enter their full name or select to use their company name. In this case, we are gonna use our full name. So we have hand off Raybeard, our maintenance guy. Here you can also link important vendor information, whether it be their website, what type of vendor they are, their trade if you have their trade in your database and you can add tags to them as well. You can also, in the event this is not a work order vendor, you can also select to not have them be an option to be the vendor selected on work orders, which we will talk about in a later video. Just like owners, make sure that any contact information that you have for the vendors is inputted, especially their address. That way, when you send out their 1099s, they'll be able to be received and sent to the IRS. Make sure you have their taxpayer ID. It is absolutely critical that for both your vendors and your owners, you have their accurate tax information to make your life easier during 1099 season. You can also select whether or not you want to send them a 1099. In most cases, you will have this checked off unless in the event they are one of your W-2 employees on staff. Here you can also select more accounting information. You can have all their bills be on a single check. You can select to have 10 bills per check, or you can select to have one check for each individual bill that they have. The check stub breakdown, you can also select how you want it to look. It can either be consolidated all into one, or it can have a line for each individual section. You can also select to hold payments for specific vendors for a time by checking this button on and off. You can also select to send them an e-check receipt to verify they were there was a payment made to them. Payment terms, you can also select when their payments are due to them. Check, check memo, if there's a consistent work done, you can have it to say landscaping or whatever they do on a day-by-day -day basis. And you can also select a pre-existing expense account to auto populate every single time you enter a bill for them. So in this case, we'll have to end off the landscaping. And you can also select last, but certainly not least, what their discount or markup is for doing work with you. Next section, just like our owners, is we're gonna have the bank account information. This section is important if you are going to be paying your vendors through Appfolio's e-check system. You'll need to select yes to pay the vendor via ACH and then input their bank account information here. The last and certainly not least section is making sure that you have all their licenses and contract information entered. That way you cover not only yourself, but also your vendors as well. Upon filling all that information out, you can then hit save and you will have your new vendor. Thank you for watching APM Academy brought to you by APM Help. If you have questions on the content, you can find us at apmhelp.com or reach us at info at apmhelp.com. Like, share, and subscribe for more.